everyone. This is Carrie with Everwood Creations. Today, we are going to be looking at using the molding toolpath in Vetric VCarve Pro. We're going to be using the molding for a special project in the future. Our first step was to design our own profile on paper. Then I scanned in the resulting drawing. Once I have the picture pulled in, I decided to trace the pattern using Vetrix tools so that I can be more exact on the straight lines and the curves. First, I grab the polyline tool and trace over the picture to make a square. Now I will use the draw arc tool to create the rounded portions of the profile. With the draw arc tool, you place three points and it makes a perfect curve between them. I'll do the two smaller arcs at the top and then the larger arc at the bottom. Next, I need to select the polygon in the arcs I just created. Then I will go over here to the weld tool, which will combine it all together and make a single shape out of it. I'm going to delete that old vector. I tried using the trace bitmap tool and it was not great. Now I will make a copy of the vector I'm currently using. So no matter what happens, I have a nice clean version to go back to. Anything can happen. Now I will turn the profile and adjust the size, which will determine the size of the molding. I will unlink the height and the width. I know I want the width to be two inches and the height can be no more than three quarters of an inch since that's the height of our material. Next, I will cut the base off the profile, but first I'll make another copy, just for that insurance in case something goes horribly wrong here. Now I use the node edit tool to cut the points on either side of the span. And then delete the span. So now we have our profile ready to go, but we need rails for the toolpath to sweep across. I'm making two lengths of molding, so I will need two lines to represent the rails. Using the polyline tool, I make the top rail. The second line needs to be placed far enough away to avoid overlap of the final molding. So I draw a square and make it two inches to represent that final width. I also want to make sure to leave room for the tool to fit in between the two moldings so that I can cut them out. I'll make a copy of the first line and place it to mark the bottom of the top molding. Center them. I tuck the profile into the corner, though it doesn't actually matter where it is because it won't be carving, but I like to keep things looking a little cleaner and then make a second set below. Now you can see I decided to draw boxes around the lines and I'll be using those later. Okay, we are now ready to make the molding toolpath. It's the cute little profile button in your toolpath menu over here. First, we will select the rail. It's important to only select the top rail, which it will use to sweep the profile. Now select the profile, check your tool settings are correct for your machine, and hit calculate. You can see here that it perfectly swept the profile across the rail and created this beautiful molding. I'm very pleased with how this looks. Now, if you're not as happy, any adjustments you make to the profile will show up if you recalculate the toolpath. Now I will use the boundary boxes to create a profile path that will cut out the molding, leaving only a few tabs. You could skip this step if you want to cut the molding out yourself, of course, but I prefer to let the machine do the work. The tabs ensure that the piece stays in place during the cutting process. Now we will preview our work. There you go. As you can see, 
we have molding that is completely cut out except for tabs on the ends. Now we just need to save the toolpath and send it off to the CNC. Alright, about four hours later we have this beautiful molding ready to be used in any project. It's not the fastest way to make molding, but it is a great way to make one-of-a-kind small pieces. If you have any questions or would like to share some tips on using the molding toolpath, please comment below. If you'd like to see the project we use this particular molding for, hit that subscribe button. That video will be coming soon. Until then, have fun and stay safe in the shop.